Hi there. Dr. Bill Crawford here. I'm a psychologist, speaker, corporate trainer, life coach. Had the pleasure of writing four books, doing two PBS specials. And this is another in a series of videos that I'm creating to help you bring more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. Today, I want to address all those out there that are in the position of influencing others or helping others bring out their best. Um, it could be managers or supervisors, leaders, parents, guardians, anyone who is in the position of giving feedback to others in order to help them bring their best to life. Because have you noticed, when you are trying to correct a mistake in someone else, have you noticed they almost often defend the very behavior you want them to change, start arguing for the fact that it's somebody else's fault, or it's not theirs, or don't blame them, or I couldn't help it. Unfortunately, that's very understandable because it actually engages a very specific part of the brain, that resistant, defensive part of the brain. If you want to learn more about that, you can go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, and I'll give you more information about it. What I suggest you do as a solution is shift from a focused from the problem and the past to the solution and the future. And now the quote that I'm using this week has to do with constructive criticism, which I'm going to suggest is an oxymoron. It comes from the quote from uh, Carl Jung that says, Criticism is wonderful when there is something to be destroyed or eradicated, but it only causes harm when there is something to be built or created. And when we're dealing with others, what we're trying to do is build their ability to be successful, help them feel successful, and have confidence in their ability to be successful. That also comes from a very specific part of the brain, the upper 80% of the brain versus the lower 20% of the brain. And in order to access that part of the brain, we have to ask a what I call a neocortex or top-of-the-mind question. The, my favorite is, okay, knowing what you know now, how would you do that differently in the future? Often when you're helping people learn from their mistakes, this is a wonderful question because there's no shame in the future. There's no blame in the future. It's all about knowledge. And it's all about accessing those frontal lobes where we make decisions about the future and make plans. See, everybody has a neocortex, and if we can just access that part of who they are, we can help them bring their best to life. I hope you found this valuable. I try to keep these videos short. I know we're all busy. So if you find yourself uh, trying to help other people, maybe giving feedback to your supervisee or your employee or your kid or anyone that you're trying to help, what I would encourage you to do is try focusing on the future. What have they learned? How are they going to do it differently in the future? And watch them bloom and blossom. Again, I hope this has been valuable. Uh, my name is Dr. Bill Crawford. If you have any questions about how I use this philosophy in my work, in my seminars, in my books, I encourage you to go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com. There you can enter your first name and your email address, and I will send you four free videos on this new system about accessing the upper 80% of the brain, walk you through the system, show you how to use it in your life. And again, if you have any thoughts about my working with your organization, I would be happy to talk with you and give you my thoughts about how I could apply this particular information to you and your organization and help you bring out the best in everyone you supervise and manage. I hope this has been helpful. My name is Bill Crawford. Thanks for listening.